Welcome to another video brought to you by VintageElectronicsGeek.com. I am your host, Jack. In a previous video, I demonstrated and showed you my Kodak Easy Dock Station number three. That is a mouthful to spit out. And in that video, showed you how to swap out the plates and reason why I was doing all that good stuff. And in that video, tore it apart so you could take a peek at it. And I noticed that I have some corrosion on this side of the board. By opening it up, we find that the only thing there corresponds is a couple capacitors. And then we have one more capacitor here. Looking at them from the, the top side here, you really can't see any leakage whatsoever. So I'm not sure, you know, uh, if this is really the issue that these are, are what leaked on the board and that's where I'm getting the corrosive corrosion from. I don't know. However, with that said, we're going to replace these three capacitors just for GP. This may or may not resolve my issue with this docking station. With this docking station, uh, for those who may not have watched that show, when I put my camera on this dock station with a brand new battery or other, it really doesn't matter. A after uh, about 15 minutes, the light will turn red and start flashing, generally an indication that there's a problem with the charging of said battery in this area of the board after looking at it a little bit more these these devices do use a a uh, linear power supply however upon inspection of the board this is where the power jack is it does go through some filtration and that's what these capacitors are screwdriver in hand that's a rather large screwdriver as you can see it fills up your screen that's how large it is the size on this is a ph1 and so as stated we just take out these two screws here now come over here and we'll pluck this little guy off As you can probably see your own self, it don't appear that nothing is leaking out of there. This solder sucking gun is an amazing piece of tool. Everybody should own one. It's well worth the hundred plus dollars, I guarantee it. And when you take these out, you want to make sure, remember what side negative comes out on. Sometimes it's like pulling teeth. All right, so. Negative side is going to be towards the power jack. Now, not all boards are going to be marked like this. But you can see right here, this one is. This one here does declare what side negative is on. So that's where you stick your negative pin. And, not sure if you could see it, but on this side, if I can get it in the sun, there's a little plus mark right there by that hole. So that's kind of cool that they did that. We'll go ahead and pull this tin out. And 
and so negative there and negative there. So first working with the 10 Hear that? 4.4 .4 ohms. V loss, 1.3. Okay. You want those numbers as low as possible. And that's pretty high. So let's go ahead and try the other two. All right, again, 4. Point, or 470. I would say that, that uh, the SR is pretty good. We'll do the other one. Still not bad. Uh, that little tin was uh, about the only one. However, we're, we got them out. We're going to replace them. We'll go ahead and mount the uh, 470s and remember negative to negative. And so what we want to do is clean this corrosion up. We're going to hit the whole board. And how we're going to clean this up, get that corrosion and other gunk off, we're going to just use isopropyl alcohol and some Kim wipes. So we want to get in here and just saturate that board with the alcohol. Make sure there's no corrosion. That corrosion can go through and do bad things to your board. Eat the traces, components, etc., etc. And we don't want that. Nice and saturated. Get it all up in its grill. Now we come in with the Kim wipe, set it down on the board. The Kim wipe is going to absorb what we just put down, not only the alcohol, but primarily the gunk. And so we'll come back in with some more alcohol on top of that. To help with the absorption. This is also great for cleaning up dirty boards, 
boards that have a lot of flux on it. And depending on how dirty the board is, you may have to do this several times to get it all cleaned up. Okay. Hope my hand wasn't in there too much. So, you just remove the Kim wipe. And I don't really see debris on there too much. So let's hit the printed side. Or not the printed side, we just did the printed side, the circuit side. I would generally use a, another Kim wipe, but since this one really is not all that dirty, I just reuse it. Let me zoom out a little bit for you so you don't see my arm exclusively. You can see something. It really doesn't matter. Now you get to see more of my hands. Yeah, we got, uh, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but we definitely have some more marks on it, or we have marks on this. Another one and dry it off. What do you think? Not bad, huh?
Well, there we go. All reassembled. Will that take care of my problem? I don't know. I'm not going to stress if it do, if it don't. But, let's get this plugged in and find out what happened. Hit the power switch. Got 120 volts to it, and nothing blew up. So the next question is, let's put a camera on there and see if we get a flashy red light or any lights at all. Okay, so right away, nothing. Oh. Okay, Re reseated the plug and, and there we go, it worked. Well, we have all three green lights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera, let this sit for about 15 minutes, and see if it turns to a flashy red light. Well, it's been a while since we paused the video to see what's going to happen with this. In that time, what I have done, I have uh, cleaned up this tray, ran some uh, isopropyl alcohol over it, and polish it up with some Kim wipes, and I think that looks pretty nice. Secondly, so far, so good. I've ran through this entire stack of batteries here, have one more battery frying, and I have one more to go. But the good news is it's gone through all these batteries without a flashing red light. So what that's telling us is that this docking station had a bad case of the caps. So make sure you are responsible electronic owners and have your electronic devices spayed or neutered. I'm suspecting this little tin microfarad was the culprit. Of course, they'll, all of them will get thrown away because I've serviced them all and ain't no need keeping used electronic caps if you don't need to, right? Right. All right, well, with all that said and done, this will conclude the video. As always, you've made it this far. I appreciate the support. That's it, everybody. Show's over. You don't have to go home. You just got to go. Until next video, see ya.